Hi, I'm Kenneth Hernandez, Program Manager for Tico Energy's Alternative Fuel Vehicles. During this short video, I'll introduce you to plug-in electric vehicles and we'll touch a little bit on the technology that's available on the market, charging the vehicle at home versus a public station, savings from plugging in versus filling at the pump, and where to get additional information. So let's talk a little bit about the technology. The two examples that we have here today are the Chevy Volt and the Nissan Leaf. The Volt is an electric vehicle with extended range. On a full charge, you have an initial range of 40 miles. After depleting that charge, a gasoline generator seamlessly engages, providing unlimited range. The Nissan LEAF is an all-electric vehicle with no gasoline components. On a full charge, you have a range of about 100 miles. Over the next 12 months, you'll see a variety of vehicles entering the market with similar technologies. Now that we've talked a little bit about the vehicle technology, let's talk about charging. Although the majority of the charging is expected to take place at home, EV drivers will have the option for public charging, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. So first, let's talk about home. Essentially, you have two types of charging uh, at home. Level 1, which is a 120-volt charging option. One side just plugs into your standard 120-volt outlet. The other side has your J1772 connector to plugs into the vehicle. Although this charging will be sufficient for most EV drivers, Charging ranges are extended, ranging anywhere from 8 to 20 hours depending on the size of the battery in the vehicle and the state of charge. Most consumers are expected to choose a 240 volt or level 2 option, so let's talk about that now. This is one example of a level 2 charger. Although there are some considerations when choosing a 240 volt option, the benefit is faster charge times. Essentially the 8 to 20 hours charge time for the level 1 is cut in half. To help you with the installation of a Level 2 charger, we've provided five easy steps for you to consider. First, identify a licensed electrician to complete the installation. Assess your home's electrical service. Acquire a permit through the appropriate agency. Install the charger once the permit has been secured. And finally, have the installation inspected by the permitting agency. This information is available on our website at tampaelectric.com ev. Let's talk about an option to charge when away from home. Public charging stations are being installed all across the country by local governments and private businesses in an effort to support the anticipated growth of EV ownership. Although you may see minor differences between charging stations, they all basically work the same. The majority of stations in our area, such as the one we will demonstrate today, have been installed as part of the Charge Point America program, the country's largest public electric vehicle charging network. To gain access to the station, I simply scan my RFID card that identifies me as a registered driver. Once confirmed, it allows me to remove the J1772 connector and connect it to the vehicle. At this point, the vehicle and the charging station communicate to verify proper connectivity and charging can begin. And you're not out of luck if someone else is using the charging station's 240 volt connector. Many public stations offer the ability to connect at 120 volts through the vehicle's cord set. To do this, simply scan your RFID card to unlock the access door to the 120 volt outlet. Let's talk a little more about the ChargePoint network and the RFID card we just used. The ChargePoint network is the largest network of independently owned EV charging stations in the U.S. You can access any of their public charging stations by opening a free account at ChargePoint.net. Once your account is established, you will receive your RFID card by mail that will let you plug in at any of their public charging stations. How do you locate a station? Go to chargepoint.net or use their app for your smartphone or tablet. From there, you'll automatically access a map that locates any public stations within 12 miles of your location. One of the most common questions I get is how much does it cost to charge an electric vehicle? For a full charge, a Volt, less than $2. A Leaf, less than 3 On average, drivers can save approximately $1,300 per year in gasoline cost. The bottom line, it's not a big impact on your electric bill, and you will see significant savings by fueling at the plug instead of at the pump. As we continue to look for ways to decrease our dependency on foreign fuel, our impact on the environment, and overall transportation costs, we expect EVs to become increasingly prominent on our nation's roads. As the efficiency and affordability of these vehicles improve, more people will have the opportunity to own them. And, like compact fluorescent light bulbs, flat screen TVs, or laptop computers, EVs will eventually become commonplace in the fabric of our society. To learn more about electric vehicles and their benefits to you and the environment, visit our website at tampaelectric.com EV.